Can you put temporary tattoos on furniture? And if so, will they last? What better project to try it on than something I'm intending on keeping in my house? My kids need a bookshelf. I want to try this out. It's a match made in heaven. Now, I'm not saying my kids have too many books, but uh, they, may, they may have too many books. My daughter's also requested that this go blue, purple, and pink. So that could be interesting. Could be very interesting. So I'm not exactly sure what my plan is. I just know that it includes blue, purple, and pink, and um, some temporary tattoos. This piece is made out of MDF, and so I decided instead of risking going through that top layer into that with my orbital sander, I did it all by hand. And then after I had it all ready and done, I left it outside. We went on a little excursion and had to race a thunderstorm back home to try to rescue the piece from the rain. It did get a little bit of rain on it, but fortunately not enough to warp that MDF. And as ordered, I have blue, purple, and pink. I have roughly measured where I want the shelves to go to accommodate the different sizes of books that my kids have. And since I want those shelves to be a solid color and not have to mess with them, I'm going to be blending the paint into the next color right before that shelf is going to sit. My first coat is mainly slapped on, slightly blended together to give me a bit of a map to follow through with my second coat, which I will be much more careful with. And this is approximately where my camera decided it was completely full and it didn't tell me so I don't have any more filming of the painting part. Sorry. But this is the part we're all here for anyway. It's time to get these temporary tattoos put on. I bought these off Amazon. They're only about 50 cents a piece and they came in a pack of, I don't know, 14 or 15 I believe and I let my daughter go through them and pick out her favorites and those are the ones that we're going to be using on this piece. The instructions say it to peel off that plastic layer, put it face down on to your skin or in my case my piece of furniture and then with a damp sponge which I use an old makeup blender you wet the back of the tattoo and then let it sit for 20 seconds gently peeling it off and I did have to dab down some of the edges afterwards. But overall, it stuck down pretty good. I'm pretty confident in it at this moment at least. You will probably notice that I have left one side of this bookshelf without any of the decals on it, and that's because this was designed specifically for a specific spot in my daughter's room, and that is going to be up against a wall anyway, so you're not going to be able to see it. So since I want to give this piece and the tattoos the best possible chance they have at surviving, I'm going to put at least two top coats on it, maybe even three over the tattoo areas because I really want them to last a long time. I'm going to use my Verithane's polyurethane top coat. It is a water-based top coat. It goes on clear and I have it in satin. It's generally what I use. I buy it by the gallon and I'm going to get my sprayer set up and I will be spraying on those coats. And hopefully that will mean that my tattoos won't fade away and disappear within a couple of weeks like they would if you were wearing them on your skin. I imagine they'll stay pretty good. 
But if they don't, or if they do, I'm gonna update in the description of this video in about a month and then in six months as it goes on how they're wearing and I will probably post it in community too so that you don't have to check back on this video but if you're watching it later read the description to see if I've already updated it with those updates. I've had a couple people ask in the past about my spray system. This is my tank. It's a 20 gallon. It affords me continuous spraying for long amounts of time without giving me any issues and I love it. I have this listed down in my favorite tools section of the description in every video. In every video I also have a list of all the products that I use so if you need to look up something that I've used it's going to be down in the description. The gun that I use is this HVLP purple sprayer from Harbor Freight. So I'm pretty excited to see how these temporary tattoos wear over time because I think they would be really handy, maybe not on a big dresser or something like that, but on smaller projects like jewelry boxes or TV tables, trays, things like that. These could be really handy and much more affordable at only around 50 cents a piece. I think that's pretty good. If you would, give this video a like and make sure to leave me a comment down below on what you think. And if you've tried this before and already know the outcome, share your knowledge with me. Oh, and my five-year-old thinks it's absolutely perfect. So, mission accomplished. Thank you so much for joining me this week and watching with me. Until next time, I'm Sarah with our furniture flipping adventure. Goodbye for now.